Hi! In this video, we will see how to create a list box to select indicators. A list box can be created by going to Developer tab just like a combo box or scrolling table that we've created earlier and now we're gonna focus into the list box which is also under developer tab to the insert button form controls and you have the list box form control icon click it then let's create it in the new dashboard and here we just need to select now all the options for the given list box again a mention that if you don't have the developer tab you need to go to file options advanced and to the ribbon customizing you will add the developer tab now let's focus to the list box first right click on it going to take a look at the format control but here we have only two fields comparing with the other options that we've created from the developer tab in the earlier videos now we have to select the input range basically here we have the option that will appear in the list box menu then we have the cell link where we will obtain the number of the selected list item and here in the selection type we have three options first it's the single selected item then we have multi where we can select multi items multiple items and the last one it's extended version just like a menu in our case we will use for the moment a single item but for the moment let's set up the input range and for this I will I will add a top word for over and under option just to use the range for my list box I will copy this and I'm going to summary and right click transpose and now let's check again and you'll see that everything will be fine I will re-choose from the summary IT A14 and A15 press OK and here we go now we want to use this list box as a toggle button in order to see only the top over values or only the top under values let's make this as a small dashboard and try to resize this list box and also I will try to cut this info into our summary sheet now we know that this list box always will use the cell link with the given number of the selected item now we have two and before we had one so top over will be one and top under will be two meaning that we can try to customize some lookup functions that will help us to create the correct dashboard depend depending by our toggle button which is basically our list box and in this case I will try to configure and to set up a if function an if function or we'll see if we need to combine with index or VLOOKUP function let's say that here when I select top over I want to have only the top three products with the percentage and the name of the product and basically here we should have also a chart just to be more 
easy to read. First, we will start with the if function. So, equal, but let's write it directly into the dashboard. So here we'll have the top three items from C2 to C4. So equal if the logical test will be cell link from the list box control formula which is A13 equal 1 let's freeze this cell so if it's equal 1 bring me this cell and now I'm gonna put the other values if not keep it blank let's close it you see that if I'm gonna select the second option the value will disappear okay for the moment let's try to configure the percentage here and take the formula and copy for the next values so here we have the top three values for top over budget also here I will have the product because I want to have also the product description and for this I will use an index with match function so equal index press tab array will be from the summary sh sheet the product description options I will freeze this the next argument will be a match function for our rows lookup value will be always first percentage and we will look up array into the the column I will freeze also this one and here no more arguments here we go if I drag I have obtained the same product because mainly I have the same values for the summary IT so let's go ahead and try to edit this error and for this we need to pay attention to the third argument of match function which is the match type and we need to bring the exact match which is zero for our list of options hit enter and here we go now if I copy the formula I will have 73 percent for laptop and here we go and then we have 65, 67 for keyboard and 50 for headphones which is quite good now here I will create a chart and let's start by creating a simple chart for a column and we need to decrease just to be more readable okay I will select again let's try a bar maybe will be more easy to read Okay, and now we can decrease 
just for us to be into the dashboard we will not focus for the chart details and we only want to have let's say some common functionalities for our dashboard linked to those great function which is a toggle between top over or top under I will erase this one sorry and this one okay so mainly we can configure to be more readable and to be more easy for us no grid lines and we can try to keep it like that okay this zero can be simply white just to avoid to appear in our visual area I will do it again for the other values and we are set okay here we go I will increase a little bit the size okay one what we need is also to format the chart area without border and we will keep the feeling white now we have here a function but we need also an if function that if we have number two we need to avoid this type of display that's why we will start to work with different if and we'll insert a second option for us so going here if summary 813 oops if summary 813 equal to bring me D or E 15 okay if not let it blank okay now I will copy the formula and let's click it you see that we have here the smart watch which is the first option from our top under but we need to freeze also the values from a 13 otherwise Excel will change it okay I will copy again and here we go all it's set now and as you can see the chart moves the left side and it's more readable if we will decrease this font 
and I will do the same for the positive figures. Thank you.